So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Volkanovski is 31, Chung is 33. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean Zombie Chan Song. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go fight. Dateline, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight, Chip. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the curtain. They are propelled by these fans. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get going now. Pretty good right hand. Circling to his right. Not there. Uppercut there blocked by Volkanovski. Just a slip there. 
Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Well, the Korean Zombies kick to the body. That one blocked. Nice loop and punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Just over three minutes to go. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just misses with the left hook. Ooh. Nice punch there. Oh! Volkanovski gets hit by that leg kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So just over 20 total strikes and counting him now landed for the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Back and forth we go. Now connects with the right. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. And misses with the right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep doing it again. Do it again. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode it to you. And when he gets his hand blocked, he's going for a ride. This guy's a full on mixed martial arts fighter. Just at him. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Pretty good kicks there by Chan Sung Jung. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautiful hook. Nice hook lands. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. He got him. Volkanovski gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Nice punch by Chan Sung Jung. Seconds. Try to establish that jab. Slips that left hand. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, here we go. Round two, it is Alexander Volkanovsky versus the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, timely hook. Circling away towards the left now. Oh! What a fan. Oh! Huge right hand! Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 53 total strikes have now landed for Chan Sung Jung. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Alexander Volkanovsky. Good stick. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so a nice connection there with the one-two for Alexander Volkanovsky, the former rugby league standout. It's amazing to think not all that long ago this was a man who weighed 214 pounds. I mean, that is massive. 214 pounds fighting at featherweight now. Could you imagine the discipline that he had to show in order to get to this weight class and do it pretty comfortably? He's not dying when he's walking to the scale. He's a pro's pro and he's showing in his performances. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he... Oh! He's gotten hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses with the jab there. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Liver kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, beautiful. Wow! Holy smoke, he put him to sleep. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he gets back up. The question is, for how long? Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. One minute to go in the round. Big hook. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh he might be out. Every time these guys go. Oh! Those are big strikes. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes. He had it hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, 
if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Zombie. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and...